Hello, and welcome back to our show. I'm Natasha, and this is the Natasha and Connor Show. Although we are supposedly dead, we are reporting from the afterlife. So let's start with our first story, and we'll go to the Living Field Reporter for facts on the next story. Hey guys, my paper got lost, so I'll just freestyle. So basically, there's this bank robbery, and the robbers were horses. They tried to be discreet and like on the down low, but their big figures just really gave it away. So, and somehow they got away with over two billion dollars. So, yeah. Now let's go to some footage that you'll only see here. So, how's that for ad-libbing? Let's try to be low-key. We have two billion dollars on our hands, so we have to This go. just in, a man has been taken into custody for being an accomplice to the horses. He distracted bank goers and created a diversion. His sentencing will be on Sunday. Welcome back. Next, we have a segment about a hero. Just so you know, my hero is Mr. Ride. But let's get back to the point. So a woman made an accommodation to an old homeless man. She donated blankets and shoes to him. This woman is now being na nationally recognized. Here's our interview with her. Hi, miss. How are you? That's unimportant. Let's get to the interview, shall we? So what exactly made you do this? a nice action and give the blankets to this old homeless, homeless man. Nothing really made me do it. It was just the right thing to do. Do you think that more people this day and age should do the right thing? Yes, it would make the world a better, peacefuler place. That's some good information. Thank you for your time. But let's get back to the station. We have a new show ahead of you. It's fair to make a Judy a statement about that woman. She's a woman of great consequence. Our next story brings us somewhere far away. In North Korea, there isn't much freedom, but one lady wanted to break barriers. She showed her crazy, eccentric personality with clothing and actions. Let's get right to it. We have some never-seen footage right here for you. As you can see here, this woman has broken barriers. She's not wearing the traditional black and white clothing, and she is living outside. This woman is absolutely insane. You may need to check her into a mental hospital. <laughs> For our last story, we have a story from our own news station. Inside here, we've had some pretty precarious situations. Let's send it over to our inside reporter. People who are employed here that seem to be competent workers have been bad. Co-workers have been stealing food from others. This frustrates many workers and some have threatened to quit. Missing food is a big issue here. They're taking food that have their names on it and taking it as their own. It's almost like the plagiarism of food. Many don't have time to leave during lunch break, so they've been starving. Some whose names aren't being released have been talked to <coughs> and rebuked. We'll let you know more details as we receive them. Thank you for watching. Tune in next time. We'll see you later. But before that happens, I'm going to go snack on some Eminem.